we are here with Mr. John Amplis, the star of Martin, uh, Creep Show, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, all sorts of things. Thank you for joining us here, sir. My pleasure to be here. Thanks. And uh, so for a lot of your career, you worked with Mr. George Romero. How did the two of you first meet? Um, I was in college, I was a senior in college. George came and saw a play I was in. And uh, a couple of months later, um, he um, called me and offered me a role, uh, offered me the role of Martin. Yeah, the legend is that um, he actually had an older character in mind um, and saw the production and went away, uh, rewrote it, and uh, came back with uh, the character uh, in a younger form. Wow, what a great honor, yeah. Yeah, I hope it's true. I mean, that's what people tell me anyway. <laughs> So, yes, Martin, I mean, I thought you gave a tremendous performance in that film, uh, and you got to play a lot of interesting things. There's an ambiguity of whether or not the character is a vampire. Is he just a young psychopath? Um, what was it like really getting into that mindset for that film? Well, you know, the truth of it is, you know, an actor just tries to do what he can do moment to moment, you know. Um, I... Um um, I, I, I work in a, in a way that, you know, what I first try to do is just kind of find what do I understand about this particular character. I bring whatever, you know, my background is uh, that I could relate to, to, to the character. And then um, the rest of it is trying to just uh, do moment to moment. Uh, and, and make it happen that way. Mm. It's hard to talk about acting, you know, <laughs> it's, it's because it's, um, it, it, it's like being a good plumber, you know. Um, it's, it's a bit of a craft, and so um, you have to have the right tools for the right job. And, uh, but one of them is, you know, you want to understand uh, the character's point of view, um, and then the rest of it is just showing up and, uh, and uh, being true to that. Mm. So after giving such a strong performance in your first big film, uh, what was it like after that? Were people knocking your door down? You know, uh, oh, what was the reception? Not, absolutely not. <laughs> no, no, no doors were being knocked down uh, at all. Uh, because then, then what happens then the business gets involved. Mm -hmm. You know, um, making a film or being on stage in a play, you know, that's all part of an art form. Um, but to be, you know, to then become an actor as a career, as a profession, that's a whole, <laughs> that's a whole other ball of wax. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I'm not sure at that point in time in my life that I really understood that or knew how to handle that. So, you know, um, not getting other roles and not getting more work, you know, really kind of fell on my shoulders. And I was just a young guy that didn't know how to do it, you know. Uh, so you next teamed with Romero in Dawn of the Dead, and in that movie you were a casting director and an uncredited makeup assistant. How did you come into those roles, and was there ever any talk of you acting in a big part in the movie? No, there wasn't any um, um, uh, talk about me being having a big part in the movie. But George has created over the course of the time that I've worked with him, and I've worked with him on six films, um, what he creates is a family. You know, and so, uh, which is which makes perfect sense because you want to you want to have people sur surround you. Um, number one that you like. Number one that you can depend on. Number two, that, uh, number three that that uh, you know that they're they're going to get the job done. Mm -hmm. And I was just happy to be part of that family. You know, mm -hmm. and um, so I was given an opportunity to to be there and to do whatever I could to, to help out, and that's what I did. Yeah. Uh, was there ever any thought in your mind about maybe expanding, becoming a makeup artist, or becoming a casting director? Or you no, just wanted to help out your no, friend? No, no, I was just an actor. I, you know, I knew, I, I knew what I wanted to do, you know, primarily. I, I just wanted to be an actor. But I was happy to have, I was happy to have the work at the time, you know, mm -hmm. so. And that, then that led to, after Dawn of the Dead, I guess it was uh, Night Riders. Mm -hmm. And um, George offered me two, two opportunities, two roles. Um, one was the mime that I chose to play, Whiteface. And the other one was um, some kind of gesture. I think uh, Randy Kovitz or something did this other role. 
Um, but I was more attracted to the mine because it had a little more mystery to it. You didn't know who he was. You didn't know his background. So it was a little more intriguing, I thought. You know, um, give you a little bit more to chew on as an actor. Yeah, I thought so. Right. Sorry, and, I'm chewing gum. Oh, not a problem. <laughs> uh, and then in Creep Show, you got to be a zombie in the Father's Day segment. Yeah. Uh, what was that like, acting under pounds of makeup and masks? And um, not too, it was it was kind of cool actually. You know, I I think I got the job because Savini needed somebody that was slight. I was about 30, 40 pounds lighter in those days, so um, he needs he needed somebody to create uh, the skeleton effect on 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 them. And it took about a week to do the uh, to do the makeup work. He created a mask. He created the suit. Created gloves. Uh, after that, it was just you know getting dressed and going to the set. <laughs> so it was kind of cool. It was a lot of fun. And um, uh, it was uh, it was actually the second time I worked with uh, Ed Harris, uh, who was a great guy because Ed was uh, starred in. Um, Night Riders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he played the lead in that one. Right. In fact, it was his first feature. So, and then there were some other terrific people in Creep Show as well, like uh, Vivica Linfers and Carrie Nye, that I really got along with. In fact, later on, I did a uh, a play with Carrie Nye um, in Pittsburgh. So. Wow, it's very cool. Yeah. And uh, in, you appeared in Day of the Dead in 85. Right. And since then, you haven't really appeared in many films. What have you been up to in that time? In 1982, I was offered a part-time uh, teaching job at Point Park University. And um, I, um, I'd gone to that university. It was a college at the time. Um, I, went, I went to New York after I shot Martin. And, <coughs> excuse me. In um, in '79 and '81, respectively, my parents passed away, and I came back to take care of their estates and things. And um, so I was offered this part-time job, and uh, turned into a full-time job. But it was in it was in I'm still doing what I do. You know, I still was an actor. I still I'm directing. I teach acting and directing. And um, so now I'm an associate professor after 29 years. And. <laughs> That's great. And yeah. uh, with directing, what are some of the things that you have uh, directed recently? Oh well, I'm, a lot of a lot of plays. That's that's where I that's where I work. So, um, and we try to do as many new plays uh, as possible. So, well, that's great. Uh, do you have any upcoming projects, whether it be plays or film appearances, in the future? Um, well, I'm going to a convention next uh, next week in Kentucky, in Lexington. Um, a, another horror convention, uh, Scarefest. Um, that I'll appear. George will be down there as well. And um, when I uh, get home Monday, uh, Tuesday night, I start auditions for um, a play called The Time of Your Life that I'm directing. So. And is there anywhere online, like a website, where people can keep up with uh, you? Uh, well, I'm on Facebook, uh, <laughs> and I, I have a bad habit of befriending absolutely everybody. Um, but actually, a friend of mine, in fact, he's standing right over there, um, is working on a johnamplis.com website uh, that's in the works. So I'm ho we're hoping to get that up and rolling, you know, in a couple of months. Sounds great. Thank you so much for your time. It was Absolutely. great to talk to you. Thank you so Thanks. much. Even can't stop me. I'm fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's don't even try to bite the side of Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.